this is into the fire. I'd like to welcome Tim to the fire, the powerful, the athletic, the big body mid, Mr. Versatile with a big tank, Jalon Falcons, draft riser. This year, Mitch Nevitt. Nice to meet you, Mitch. Jay Lamb. <laughs> awesome to have you on. So let's start by saying you're a yeah. YouTube sensation yourself, weren't you? Absolutely went viral at a young age. I'm a bit starstruck. You're kicking the ball into a basket, had 257 views. And the under the leg trampoline was pure athleticism. Another 151 views in eight years. I wonder how long till they come out. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I've copped, I've copped a little bit of that. Um, yeah, well, I actually forgot about it. Yeah, it was ages ago. Yeah, I think yeah. it was on my mate's account or something. Yeah, you never know, I might go viral one day. <laughs> yeah, now, hopefully, not. <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> now, you're a gun now, but what was your junior career like? And have you always played in the Geelong area? Yeah, I've always always played in the Geelong area, just for Grovedale, just a local team um, in the Geelong League. Yeah, sort of just played there from sort of under 10s onwards. Um, and obviously a bit of Falcons and stuff once I got a bit older. But yeah, always been sort of Grovey boy. Awesome, mate. So apart from the trampolining for Australia and being a trick shot, a trick shot expert, what, what other sports did you play growing up? Um... I did a fair bit of athletics when I was a bit younger. Um, yeah. Also, always into my basketball, just sort of locally, sort of in the Geelong, in the Geelong league. Um, yeah, I always sort of kept busy over summer. Yeah, whether it's athletics or basketball, and then footy in the winter. Any favorite athletics events? Um, I liked my high jump. Yeah, I did a fair bit of high jump and stuff. Um, some like some field events, discus and stuff. Yeah, not bad. Have you always been a part of state programs as you've grown up? Knowing that, unfortunately, even though you didn't get much of it this year, you were still part of a very good Victorian country team? Yeah, I hadn't probably played too much. Not not really from the footy sense. Um, was a little bit injured and stuff, missed out on under 16s. Um, so, yeah, this year was pretty good to sort of play in the Vic country game, even though we only got to play sort of one game. But, yeah, it was a good experience. Yeah, it would have been. Now, being back in Geelong, they love their Falcons down in that part. Have you had much to do with the Cats? And have they helped you or give you any advice leading into the draft? Have they spoken to you about possibly getting picked up by them? Um, I haven't done any training or anything with them, really. They're sort of We stay sort of at Falcons mainly. But, um, yeah. yeah, I've sort of had a catch up with them. I um, spoke to them a little bit. But, yeah, I think it's a bit unknown at the moment. Nobody really knows too much what's going to happen. So, yeah, it would be nice to sort of stay in Geelong, but yeah, sort of. Yeah, open to I reckon you'd be pretty happy if you got picked up by them. Yeah, it's only just up the road. Yeah. Now, the last two years have been cruel for you guys because of COVID. What did you do last year to keep up your fitness and touch during an awful time of lockdowns? Yeah, so sort of um, catch up with a couple of mates or something, go for a kick, um, yeah, some running and stuff. We did get to train a little bit at Falcons, but yeah, most of it was um cut off. So yeah, I trained a bit locally as well, just at Grovedale. Um, just sort of tried to stay as busy as possible, I guess, with some mates. Yeah, well, it's good that you're out of the lockdowns now, isn't it, mate? Yeah, it is. Should be able to, yeah, focus on um, getting out and about a bit more and stuff. Yeah, fingers crossed, no more for you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you're awarded the Geelong Falcons Best in Ferris this year. That's another great achievement in such a hard year. You must have been happy with the consistency you showed this year. Yeah, it was sort of good to win. It was pretty close in the end, actually. Yeah, um, sort of came down to the last couple of games. I just found a bit of form later in the year, which was good. But um, yeah, it was a pretty good year overall. I really enjoyed it and stuff. Just um, sort of first time we got to play with those boys and stuff. And I haven't played last year. So yeah, it was good overall. Now, yeah. you're, now you're a big bodied midfielder who can also go forward and take a great mark with a huge vertical leap. Do you like playing forward or are you just dead set midfielder who can go, who can hurt going forward? Yeah, I probably like to play a bit of forward as well. I don't really sort of want to be just a midfielder, sort of show that I can do a bit more than just play midfield, kick some goals and stuff. Yeah, I do enjoy up forward. I played a fair bit um, just through my juniors and stuff, which was, which was good fun. Yeah, a bit this year as well. So yeah, I do enjoy playing up forward as well. Yeah, I like that you're a bit of a forward. Uh, they'll, they'll, um be good later in the interview. Got a bit of celebration yeah. ready for you, mate. Yeah, I'm ready. 
<laughs> All right, let's tell everyone what you bring to the table. A tall, big-bodied mid with a terrific athletic trait. You have a superhuman power and leap like the old days on the trampoline. You run like a marathon runner and at 193 centimetres tall, it's almost unfair. With all these traits, what do you want to improve on, mate? Um, I think probably, yeah, sort of some of my kicking and stuff, bit of skill work, um, even just sort of the stoppage work, just getting into better positions and stuff, watching some more vision and stuff like that. Um, yeah, they're probably the main ones that come to mind. Yeah, there's always something to improve on, isn't there, mate? Yeah, definitely. There is, yep. Yep. Now, the fact that you can run on the outside and get in and dirty on the inside, then go forward and take a big leap. You're a lot like a Bontempelli type, aren't you? What player do you really like to watch and model yourself on a bit? Um, yeah, I really do enjoy sort of watching the bigger, taller midfielders and stuff. Um, yeah, whether it's sort of Bontempelli or Fife or even Cripps, they're sort of all pretty good up forward as well and good in the midfield as well. So, yeah, probably some of those bigger, powerful ones. Yeah, not bad players to be like, are they? Yeah, they're pretty good. <laughs> now, let's have a look at your last game of the year. The one game all scouts will be looking hard at. 36 disposals, 10 marks, 8 inside 50s, and a goal in a dominant performance in the Falcons' win over Bendigo. It must have been great to know that in a terrible year again with stupid COVID, that is the game that you're leaving there for clubs to think about. Yeah, it definitely is good. I sort of found a little bit of form later on in the year, which was good. Um, yeah, I don't think we knew it was going to be our last game at that point. We thought we might get a few more in. But, um, yeah, it was good to sort of leave on that note. Sort of everything sort of clicked in that game. And, yeah, played geez. all right. Yeah, geez, 38 disposals. That's a big game, isn't it? Yeah, it's probably my best for the year. Awesome, mate. Now, in my humble opinion, you have about as much upside as any player going around. You could be anything. Too fast for bigs, too strong for the smalls. You have a huge upside. In the AFL system, I'm calling now, you're the star of the future. Are you getting a bit nervous with the draft approaching? Oh, thanks, Liam. Um, yeah, right, a mate. little bit. Yeah, sort of. Um, don't really know. I'm sort of trying to relax a bit and just see what happens, I guess. Um, yeah, I'm not too sure at the moment, really. Um, just see what happens, I guess. Do you look at the draft media at all? I sort of look into it a bit, but it's pretty pretty tough for anyone to sort of tell, I guess. Um, sort of everyone has their own opinions, I guess, and don't really know what's going to happen. Yeah, that's right. Now, you did a great job with the combine, in my opinion. Doing fantastic in the two kilometre and the 20 metre. Were you happy with your body of work? Yeah, probably put in a little bit of work sort of in the upcoming weeks to that. We're still sort of hoping that we could play some footy, so I was trying to do as much training as I could. But, um, yeah, I was pretty happy with my times in the end. Yeah, I worked, worked pretty hard in the weeks coming yeah. up to it. Oh, mate, you should be proud of that. That's good times. All right, let's have a... That's all good. All right, let's have a couple of non-footy questions. If you had to play a different sport, what would it be? Um, probably basketball, I think, yeah. Just sort of um, how it's sort of an international sport would be pretty cool. Sort of everyone, everyone's always watching the NBA and stuff, so that'd be pretty cool. Yeah, it's an awesome sport. Do you have a favourite team in basketball? Yeah, I like the Bulls. I've sort of loved the Bulls yeah. since... And D Rose, I like D Rose, but now he's gone, but they're doing all right this year. Yep. Oh, good old Michael Jordan back in the day. Yeah, I was a bit, <laughs> I, was a bit I wasn't alive then, but yeah. Beast. Yeah. Favorite pastime activity? Um, I like surfing, probably, probably the main one, just um, yeah, with some mates or whatever. Um, it's good fun. Yep. I haven't been surfing, so I might have to go try it. Number yeah, one, definitely. Yeah, awesome. Number one sports person you'd have around for drinks. Um, I probably would say Michael Jordan, just, yeah, his mentality and stuff, hard worker and be here, yeah, learn yeah. a few tricks off would be cool. Man, that would be awesome, wouldn't it? What would you have as the last meal? Um, or probably maybe a bolognese. Yep, that, that's a good one. Good yeah. old lasagna, maybe. Yeah, lasagna's up there. Yep, that'd be good. If you had to be a gamer, what video game would you choose? Uh, 2K. I play, play a bit of 2K, okay. yeah. Yeah, 2K is good, isn't it? Yeah, good fun. Yeah. What do you spend more time on, your hair or your clothes? Um, 
probably the clothes I'd say. Don't, oh, don't focus a bit of a tough hair, one, but... eh? Bit of a tough <laughs> one. Yeah, there's a bit going on with the hair, but yeah. Yeah, I like it. Well, Mr. Potential, you have all the attributes to be a gun, midfielder, goal kicker, and it's, it's the latter that excites me. The fact that you'll be an AFL player, that is given. And the fact that you have a great overhead mark up forward lends me to what is the most important, how to celebrate on the biggest stage of all. You only get one chance to celebrate that all-important first goal on the biggest stage of all. So you need the best in the business. Lucky I have it for you, mate. The end of the fire. You like that? Nice. Yeah. I reckon I might go with the hair. Get the old hair flick on there. Look it, look it back, yeah. Awesome, mate. <laughs> well, I can't thank you enough, Mitch. You're a great guy with enormous potential. Some lucky club is going to love you dominating the midfield for years to come. Can't wait to see which lucky club calls you out first. They will have to be quick so as not to miss out on the gem. Thanks, mate, and good luck. Cheers for that, Liam. Thanks for having me. It's been good. Awesome Enjoyed to it. chat, Legend. Thanks.